To answer some queries you might be having, the Sin Counter is for the review, but I'm also sending the short he's reviewing. For the purposes of this video, every joke or observation I made towards the short that the Zerottle Dane did not mention counts as a sin towards the review. And the fact that I have to explain this means I'm spending less time doing what I'm supposed to be doing in this video, and that makes me angry, so here's a free sin. And here's another one, because I'm technically reviewing a review. I don't care if I change the format, I'm still ashamed of my old channel and I just want to move on, damn it. Hello everypony, and happy nightmare night. As you can see, I'm all dressed up for the occasion. And in case you are wondering, I am dressed up as one of the blue aliens from this video. Oh, I thought you were trying to be Nightmare Zerottle. And if you listen to the comments he makes later on, you'd probably think the same thing. Also, sin for copyrighted music that I have to mute. I'm sure all of you at home are probably trick-or-treating, hanging with friends and family, feasting on candy, scaring people, and probably watching something like Corpse Bride. As for me, I'm stuck reviewing this for you. Come on, man. You got cutesy girly crap in front of you, you're forced to take it seriously, and you're regretting your life choices at the same time. Forget watching a horror movie. Your life is a horror movie. Today we are starting off with Over Two Rainbows, the first of two shorts which is part of the Newborn Cuties miniseries. You mean there's a sequel to this? Now I'm afraid. Lazy title integration is lazy. Uh. No sleeping on the job. Wake up and take it like the dirty little horse you are. We open on scenery that I would see in my nightmares. Clearly you've been playing too much Pony Island. The sun was shining. <laughs> the birds were singing. <laughs> and we always took super long pauses whenever we saw a comma. That's not better than ever. This is better than ever. Some pony clearly loves Rainbow Dash. Actually, remove that one. I love her too. <laughs> I didn't know Polaroids were still used in 2009. Shouldn't they be knocking off the Canon cameras or something? No! Sure to get my good side. What good side? Seriously, what good side? There are no good sides of any of you, you flank ugly designed demons. Okay, I know we're riffing on a bad cartoon short here, but come on. You just call the group of little girls ugly, and you wonder why us bronies get a bad rep. According to the narration, this thing is the Gen 3 version of Cheer Lee, and I am not cheering for her. I can believe her being cheerly, but what I can't believe is you making the stupidest pun I've ever heard in my entire life. A beautiful day. Not one cloud in the sky. Don't jinx it, buddy. Actually, go right ahead. Perhaps a storm will form and destroy the society of demons pretending to be ponies. Sure, if you're a brony and have watched FIM in the past, you'll agree with him. But taken out of context, one must wonder who the real monster is here. Has the come to Stop leaving spoilers! Think of the children! Nice stock thunder and lightning sounds. Did you have to download that from YouTube? If they did, that would technically make Hasbro a bunch of damn hypocrites. Oh no! My scarf! My dress up party! Stop, don't come back! Jeez, why are you so worked up over a scarf? Just get inside your playhouse so that you won't get struck by lightning. Oh wait, you should totally get struck by it. Maybe you'll turn into a tomboy. Uh-oh! Did some pony spit out their pills and let their evil voice in their head take over again? Oh no! My scarf! Reuse dialogue. You ponies are babies. Wait a minute. If they're babies, then where are their parents? Did they just straight up abandon them? Finally! Genuine concern for the lives of children, and it only took you half of the review! I wouldn't exactly blame them, because the babies look hideous. And he's back, fillies and gentle cults. Stealing another YouTuber's joke, because potatoes. Excuse me, pardon me! I just need to get to my totally fantabulous scarf! It's super sweet, you know! Shut up! You... First. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, la, la. Uh, I 
was hoping she would float to the atmosphere so that she would burn and fall to her death. My god, are you still talking? She's a unicorn, and everybody in Ponyville knows that unicorns belong in Unicornia. Not in our backyard. Wow, that was pretty racist. I never knew you could add racism in a modern cartoon geared to infants. And I never knew you could say horrible things in a review about a cartoon geared to infants, but here we are. You fixed it! You fixed my scarf! As opposed to just chucking it into the laundry. Do washing machines even exist here? Certainly not in a world with no Polaroids. Rainbow Dash is a selfish p who never gets punished for her behavior, nor does she learn that sometimes things like scarves and fashion isn't always important. If the only generation I knew was FIM, and that statement about Rainbow Dash was taken out of context, I'd believe you were actually talking about rarity and misread your line. So, I plan on reviewing all the Gen 3 shorts. Just hearing that makes me feel sad for you. I'm saving a very minty Christmas for a special occasion. Why do I have a sudden urge to do a collab about very minty Christmas? I mean, if he says no, I don't mind, but... I think this feels right to me. Like giving a hug to a friend who needs it. Okay, full disclosure. The Zrottle thing is not a bad person. I've seen some of his other videos and talked to him on Google Hangouts. He actually cameoed in one of my videos and participated in a Cards Against Humanity session I still haven't uploaded yet. My point is, please don't judge this person harshly by the things I said. This was meant to be a review slash comedy video where I poke fun at his video and not him personally. The fact that I'm explaining this is another sin on the board, but please understand that we were friends before this, and hopefully we are still friends now, and that we will continue to be friends in the future. 